athletes around the world are finalizing their preparations as they look to earn their ticket to the Games. And officials say they're confident of a strong showing in Beijing. and U.S. figure skater Vincent Joe is about to begin another day of training. Today, he has three sessions on the ice. On, push, 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 push. Each training session is meticulously planned by his team. My first time really being on the ice was when I was three years old. My dad took our family to the local ice rink and I remember I was just standing there and unable to do anything, and even the slowest skaters probably seemed really fast to me. I didn't actually start skating until I was five and a half. So I had a friend's uh, birthday party, and then after that, my uh, mom signed me up for group lessons, and, uh, and the journey began. I always wanted to skate the fastest, I always wanted to do the coolest jumps, and that desire to be the best, that desire to pursue excellence has driven me from the very start all the way until now. It's never left me. I started progressing rapidly and then I won my first national title at 10 years old at the intermediate level. And that was when I realized that I might actually get somewhere. But by age 12, soon after claiming the U.S. national junior title, Joe was forced off the ice. I found that I had a, a large bucket handle tear in my lateral meniscus, in my right knee, so they removed my uh, meniscus. The surgery to remove it resulted in me needing to take three and a half months off the ice. I had to put my right leg on a small machine that would move it back and forth so it wouldn't lock up. Uh, but I had to do that for like many hours a day. So I was essentially bedridden, stuck at home doing online school 24 seven for, uh, for many months. And uh, during that time, I uh, developed depression. There was no social media for me at that time. There were no smartphones for me at that time. I couldn't really connect with anyone. It was just me alone with my thoughts, starting puberty. Um, trying to figure out my place in the world. It was a hard time. I would not wish the sort of feelings I felt on anybody. Although the injury had healed, the depression continued to take hold. Joe lost interest in ice skating. At 14, Joe felt his skating career was at an end. But then came a chance call. One day, one of my old skating friends from Southern California asked me if I wanted to just go and skate on a public session at this random rink uh, just for fun, and I said, sure, why not? And before I knew it, I was, you know, I was back trying to, trying to do, this, do this whole thing again. It wasn't easy coming back. It took me a long time to become remotely good <laughs> again. Fast forward two years, Joe earned a spot on the U.S. team at the 2017 Junior World Championships in Taipei. You know, I had been training, just kind of keeping my head down and, and training really hard for the last two months, and I just showed up and blew everyone's socks off. Joe was crowned Junior World Champion and was now a step closer to fulfilling another dream. When I won Junior Worlds, there was just that glimmer of hope that tiny realization of a remote possibility that I might make the team. I remember that year leading up to the Olympics, it was like every single night I just had this fire burning inside me, like this pure flame of motivation that kept me going even in the hardest days. At 17, Joe became an Olympian and the youngest member of the Team USA at the Pyeongchang Olympics. My final jump landed on this uh, crescendo in the music and then I just had one spin left before the end and I just remember in that spin I, I, I couldn't see anything like I was I was crying it was just like a red haze of, of, of just emotions and I could feel like tears flying out onto the eyes and I didn't care that 
I wasn't going to meddle. All I cared about was that I did the best that I could. Joe finished sixth. Even though he didn't medal, he became the first person to land a quadruple Lutz jump at an Olympics. You know, had my surgery at age 12, quit skating, come back, went through depression, all of that, just, just to reach this moment. And so that was, that was an incredible moment. For the 2022 Winter Games in Beijing, the target has been set higher. This year, I think it's finally happening. My goal at the uh, Beijing Olympics is to win a medal. Competing at an Olympics in Beijing also carries personal significance. The fact that it is being held in Beijing uh, is a really great opportunity for me because that's where my parents are from, that's where my grandparents and extended family are currently living. And I, you know, I have lots of supporters there and I definitely feel excited about the opportunity to compete there. It's the best athletes in the world competing on the biggest, grandest athletic stage in the world. That level of competition, that level of performance alone is mind-blowing. Posture!